In today's video, we are going to learn how you can invoke ChatGPT from your local machine from a Jupyter notebook. We are also going to create a front end to host the API that we are going to create. Also remember at the end of the day, this Jupyter notebook is just Python code blocks. So you can easily export this as a traditional Python code and run it in your local machine as a Python program or inside a Lambda or container package, etc. All the code from this video have been given in my GitHub repository. So first things first, you can download this IPython notebook and save it in your local machine. And next to call ChatGPT, you need to have a OpenAI API key. To get an API key, simply go to openai.com and then log in and then select API and you can log in using, using your Google account and under your profile picture, click that and click view API keys, click create new secret key and click create secret key. And once you created the secret key, copy this and keep it in a notebook. One thing to keep in mind that uh, you have to start a payment plan, but you do not need to get charged. Once you set up your payment plan, you will get $5 of free trial usage. So you can use up that $5 and you can come and stop the payment plan. Anyway, uh, so you have the key. So this is the important part. Wherever you downloaded this Python notebook, you have to open a .env file, right? And I have also put that um, in the instructions that create a .env file in the same folder as this notebook, or if you're running it as a Python code in the same folder and have one line like below. Remember we copied the API key. So this is my.env file. So this .env file is in the safe, same folder as my Python notebook. All right, now let's go through the Python notebook. Uh, so first I'm just installing the libraries that's needed, the OpenAI library, the .env library for using the API key. And then this is the optional Gradio library if you want to create a front end. Okay, and then we already created this uh, .env file. Uh, okay, and to run this, you can click this uh, execute cell and it will uh, install all those libraries or alternatively, you can press shift enter. Okay, that will do the same thing. And it will also forward it to the next cell. Uh, so let's understand for the next cell, we are just importing the libraries and this .env library helps you load the environment file that we created .env. Uh, and then I'm saving the API key. Remember that's the name of the variables. We saved it as API key equals to then your API key without quotes. And that is gonna save it in the openai.api key. And this is the important uh, cell. So let's run this cell first. All right, we ran this. Okay, so that this cell has the function to call the ChatGPT model. So this has two input prompt as in the actual prompt. Uh, so you can think of it as uh, if you go to ChatGPT and you type in something here, that's the actual prompt. So let's say I do this. Let's say summarize the below text in no more than 30 words. Uh, then let's, let, let's say we go to Oppenheimer and let's pick a review, okay? Scroll down, user review. Okay, let's copy this whole thing. Control C, go back to chat GPT, press enter, and let's do this. Okay, the reviewer finds Oppenheimer to be a well-crafted and engaging film, particularly praising his authenticity, etc. So it's a good movie. Um, so we are trying to do the same thing, but from our Jupyter notebook. Uh, so this part is the prompt in that Python function, if I go back to the Jupyter notebook, and then you have to pass the name of the model. Um, so for our testing, we are using GPT 3.5 Turbo. So if I go back to chat GPT console, so in our case, if we go to the console, this is this model, GPT 3.5. Okay, let's go back to the notebook. And when you invoke the chat GPT, uh, you have to send like this. This is all in their API documentation. So the prompt is basically the whole prompt that we just showed. And then the response is gonna come back from calling this standard function, openai chat completion dot create. And then the messages will be returned. So let's save this. So let's execute that. Okay, it's executed. Uh, all right, so now, so let's test it out. Okay, so this input 
is the actual movie review. Right, so let's paste the Oppenheimer movie review. Okay, and this is where we are creating the prompt. Uh, so we are giving the same input, summarize the text below, delimited by triple back ticks in at most 30 words, right? And then this input is the variable input. So this is where we put the review. So basically it's gonna take this input, put it in the prompt. So the prompt will look very similar to what we did here, right? Summarize the below text in no more than 30 words. All right, uh, and then the output is the get completion prompt print output. So let's see how this does. Press execute. Okay, so Oppenheimer is a highly anticipated film without overall, etc. All right, so it actually summarized the review. And if you think about it, you can paste here any review of a product and it is going to call the ChatGPT API and it will give you the summary of it. And this could be like your meeting transcript, YouTube video transcript, etc. We are essentially creating a text summarizer. Okay, this is great, but then the challenge is, let's say you want to do an Amazon review. So you have to come back to this notebook and then you have to replace this part, copy paste, all that stuff. Ideally, you want to have a front end where you can just put the stuff in and it is going to call the API, right? So that's what we are going to do next. Uh, so this Gradio open source library to create front end, and you will see this in a minute. And then I'm just redoing this, right? So uh, we are creating the under summarize. We are doing the prompt, the same thing as below input. And this time, this input is going to come from the screen. And this gr.interface is what renders the front end. Um, and then demo.launch simply launches the application. It is going to run from your local. So you will see in a minute. So let's uh, execute cell. Okay, so if I scroll down, this is the front end. So here you have, can put any text to summarize and this will be the results. The flag is to uh, log the input and output in your local folder. Important part is I did not have to do a single HTML code to do this. I simply imported the Gradio library and it created the interface and you can change the number of lines, this, that, and it will change the interface real time without creating any JavaScript code. So for backend engineers like me, this is a lifesaver. All right, so let's paste the same review here. Okay, scroll down, click submit. And this is where the output from the chat GPT will be shown. All right, so the review praises Oppenheimer. Um, but now let's say you want to summarize a text which is different. So maybe I go to bbc.com, see today's news. Uh, Burning Man, where are the sports? The Asia Cup going on, cricket. Okay, let's click this. Okay, so let's copy this thing. I want ChatGPT to summarize this news. Okay, go back to my notebook. Okay, scroll down, you can clear, paste this, scroll down, click submit. All right, so it summarizes the news. Similarly, uh, I'm in the market to buy a ultra wide monitor and I want to summarize some reviews. So you can simply go to amazon.com, scroll down to reviews, where we go, here we go. And then instead of reading the whole thing, oh man, this review is long. Uh, hopefully this is within the token limit. Okay, let's see. Scroll down, clear, paste it in, submit. All right, the reviewer discusses the limitations and specifications of a PC monitor, specifically for gaming. They mention the need for a wide screen card monitor is the necessary hardware. They also discuss the compatibility with Mac computer. The reviewer suggests downloading the manual, content use. Okay, so this actually doesn't tell us whether this is a good or bad, right? And this is the beauty of it. You can just come here and change it. So I'm going to say along with sentiment delimited by triple back ticks, okay? So I'm going to rerun this cell. Okay, here we go. Let's say we paste the same review, click submit. Okay, now it added overall the sentiment appears to be mixed. 
All right, so this monitor is not really a great choice. That's what it's saying, even though he gave it five stars. Let's paste another review. Go back, scroll down, clear, summarize, click submit. Sentiment positive, the reviewer bought the monitor on sale and found it easy to set up. They are impressed with its performance, but recommend getting a separate mount as the included one is not adjustable. Yeah, so this monitor is not for me. I, I, pro, I want something which I can adjust easily because I stand up, I sit down, I do a lot of recording. But that's not the point. The point is in 10 minutes, we created our own ChatGPT. And this is running in my local, but you can simply put share equal to true and it will also generate a link for you that you can distribute to other people right so this is that easy all right folks like i said all this code this python notebook has given in my github also we are very close to 100,000 subscribers if you found this video helpful click that like button smash it if that's something you are into share this channel with your friends family and others i'll see you guys and girls in the next video bye